Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to prepare the pay slips and serve as PDF in a particular folder for each staff from the table. And we will attach each pay slip PDFs in the each emails in a single click. So I will open the Excel file. I will enable the content. This is a macro novel workbook. Works it named as email. And this is a pay table and the pay slips template is here. So when I click this serve PDF button, all PDFs will be automatically served in this folder, pay slip folder. This folder is named as pay slip folder. This folder has to be in the same location where this Excel file is located. If you keep this different folder in the same folder, you have to have a folder naming pay slip exactly like this. So every Basically, PDF will be saved here for each staff. Now I will click this save PDF. You can see each PDF created for each staff. Everything created. Now I will open this folder. You can see for each staff is created renaming the EPF number underscore and the pay period November 1, 2023. I will open this. You can see. For this staff insurance number, two copies of pay slip in one page. I will open the another one. You can see. Once I click this email button, it is asking for the confirmation. If I click this, all emails will be created attaching PDF pay slips to each staff's emails. I will click yes. You can see each email is created attaching pay slips pdf this is for the one of the staff the pay slip copy and pasted in the email body here also the pdf attachments is here i will open that so likewise all emails routed here after creating all emails there will be a message box up successfully sent we can click ok that also here the text printed as sent now I will go to the VB editor. All tf is the shortcut. Here is the new module, MOD print as PDF. Here you can see the variables declared here. And this is the data copy and pasted to the pay slip template. And we are take a copy of the pay slip. This one to here. So this one. We are printing the base slip as PDF in the particular folder. This is a dynamic folder location. C1 range, that is the file location. I will show that C1. That is this LS in. You can see in the formula bar using this formula. The file exist location has to be the folder location. Also, there are some changes in the pay slip sub procedure. There were two new variable declares, I file location and I file as string. Then here additionally new file lines to attach a PDF files. Okay, you can download this Excel file as well. I will upload the file and link will be in the description and the comments. Thank you for watching.